discussing. Oh, I got a good show. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Thank you. Hey, man, how What's are up? you? What's up? How are you? Houdini performed his signature straitjacket escape in New York City's Times Square. It gets so quiet right before yeah. this moment. <laughs> As an artist, I'm always thinking about what Houdini would have done if he were alive today. Who's one of my biggest inspirations? Harry Houdini. Houdini, Houdini. Yeah. exactly. Houdini made the straitjacket a signature piece. He's actually the first guy to ever take the straitjacket and perform it upside down to guarantee that he would sell out his show. Getting out of a straitjacket is incredibly difficult. We really have to make sure that shoulders, elbows are limber, because basically you're kind of coming through, coming around, and trying to escape without being able to let go of your hand. Urban legend has it that Houdini used to dislocate his shoulder. Urban legend, though. Who started that urban legend? Houdini. Houdini. Uh -huh. <laughs> I want to take what Houdini did and try to one-up Houdini. Whoa. I want to be the first person to ever attempt to escape two straitjackets. You gonna do this upside down or just Upside down, and I want to add one other factor. What was it X factor that you add? I want to have some type of restraint around my neck with weight. I'm fighting against my own clock so I don't go unconscious. Uh, if we had to decide what the biggest risk factor is, I would say it's what's around his neck, because first of all, that's restricting your, your airflow and your oxygen flow. And you're getting into the area of like aneurysms or bursting vessels. How is that put around your neck though? I mean, how are you? I think what we could do is just get some type of restraint. That's putting pressure in your carotid longer. artery. The more you struggle, the more exactly. oxygen you're going to lose. There are high stakes with this. The more he moves around, the more energy he spends, the more he's losing oxygen. And he could pass out, he could die. How much weight? I don't know. Anywhere between 25 and 50 pounds. I have a couple of concerns. You've got this weight around your neck. It seems to me like the first thing you want to do is get that thing off of your neck. Then you're upside down 50, 60 feet in the air. How do we know? how you're doing up there. I mean, there's a lot of inherent dangers with a demonstration like this. If you're hanging there and you're not responding, it's over, no. we gotta yeah. call. Mm -hmm. When we do this, Vero, I wanna do this in an iconic location wow. for the world to see. We all understand what the mandate is. Sure. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of due diligence that needs to go into this one. The space has to accommodate thousands and thousands of people. It's gotta be tall enough to bring in trucks and all kinds of uh, heavy equipment. And this is something that's going to be really challenging for me. All right, guys. All right. Thanks so much. OK. Thanks, Chris. Take care. Thank you. Got it. This demonstration features two medical straitjackets. Chris will be suspended by his feet in an iconic location. Weight will be tied around Chris's neck. Category of magic, escape. The double straitjacket escape is no illusion. What you see is what you get. But even when I'm doing an illusion, it still requires an intense amount of rehearsal and focus. Now? Did you tell me now? All right. You want to see something? Yeah. Right. I don't know. I'm just going to go with this. I'm going to go with your tablecloth over here. Can I just take this off? We can put it right over here. We're going gonna, gonna to take your tablecloth. And then uh, when I ask you to come over, you to come over and wave your hands like this, OK? okay yeah. Underneath the tablecloth. All right. And uh, actually, what's your name? Sidera. Come over here, Sidera. I want everybody to see at home, so I want to just open this up so people can see that it's just a tablecloth, right? Fair. Yes. And okay. you can see there's nothing in it whatsoever. We're going to fold it in half, just like so. Can you fold it up top like that? Good. Right? And then you're going to bring this end over, just like that. And yeah, just like that. Good. And what I want you to do is, you, what's your name, buddy? Ben. Ben, come over here, man. Nice to meet you. Me too. I want you to put your hand, you're going to put your hands on there. You're going to put it on the actual cloth, all right? But it's going to put it like this, like this. And you're going to put your hand on the cloth. And you're going to go down your knees and just keep it taut. Just a little bit more over on this side, a little bit more on this side. Keep it taut. Don't let, don't let go, all right? You got to hold it just like that, okay? Nice and taut, okay? OK, everything fair, by the way, so far, yes? OK, OK, now check it out. I want you to see 
It's completely, you gotta make that's a little springy, just a little bit tighter. Make sure you don't let go. You, you have a good back? Yep. You have a good back? Pretty good back. Okay, I'm gonna trust uh -huh. you, because, well, you're not gonna have one after I'm done putting all my weight on you right now. Watch. I'm just gonna put my foot right over here, right, buddy? Definitely. Now, check it out. I'm just gonna put my foot in the end of the table like this. Now, this is what I'm gonna do. Watch, I'm gonna do it really slowly for you. Watch. Watch. Oh, Watch, I'm just gonna feel the balance. Holy Bloody hell. Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh, my gosh. What? Watch. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What? Now, do me a favor. Bring this over to here. Bring it. Keep it taut. Bring it over here. Oh. Amber, come take a look underneath. Come take a look underneath. Wave your hand. Holy Please. <laughs> Wave your hand. Oh, my oh, gosh. Let me, go. Let me have this. Let me have this. Check it out. Holy Bring it back down. Bring it back down. Bring it back down. Oh my God. Now what you're gonna do is that? just move your. Just there you go. <laughs> there. Just stay right there. Now stay. I want you to see. It's completely fair. Keep your hands right oh there. Let go. Let go. Let go, Amber. Let go. Oh my Let go. Look, I want you to see this. It's completely, completely, oh completely. <laughs> I put my hands underneath and there was nothing there. I looked and I couldn't believe it. I was completely shocked. I was thinking to myself, how the hell did he do this? <laughs> What's up, guys? Hey, man, we're just getting ready for you. Got my combat boots on, Sweet. my straight jacket boots. Chris wants to do a double straight jacket escape upside down with weights hanging around his neck. This looks like it's this bullshit that I'm not really getting choked, and I don't. I want to be really choked. Get me like a rope. Like let's do like a noose. Although the collar is real, it doesn't look believable. It doesn't look like I'm really choking. So, what better way to choke yourself than a noose? The thing is, though, the more you struggle the tighter it's gonna get. My concern of going with the noose is a noose is designed to kill somebody. All right, let's go. The more weight we add, the tighter that noose is going to become. And in my opinion, this is just nuts. Stop. This is worse than the first rehearsal because you can actually see the redness and the strain that's around Chris's neck from the noose. It's a lot of weight. Yeah. The idea of going from a collar to a noose may have been a stupid mistake on my part, especially with that amount of weight. I don't know how to do it right now. <sighs> you should have probably gone with less weight. I know, that's what I was wondering. We just advertise all this weight. I don't know if I can do that, honestly. This has the strap that magicians cut off. Exactly. Because right. they can't deal with this strap because your arms actually go into it. Correct. So what they do is when they avoid having that strap there, they're just able to lift their arms up. Here, you can't lift your arms up. Exactly. This is a real straitjacket. I'm always trying to push the limit of what's possible. And I want to push that line just before I kill myself because that's where I am able to accomplish things that have never been accomplished in the history of the art. Down, down. This is a monster. This is crazy. Coming up. This is my childhood right here. Houdini never did this, nor did anybody. With Tiffany Break, win trips to El Clasico Match in Spain and other cool prizes. President, the egg is good. It's a good job. أرمش الويفر الهش والمقرمش المغطى بألز وأنعم شوكولاتة بالحليب وارباح واحدة من السفرات لمشاهدة مباراة إل كلاسيكو بإسبانيا وجوائز كتيرة. مع تيفاني بريك ما في حدود. Président, l'acle est taillé, ça a l'air 
bite into the crunchiest wafers in the smoothest milk chocolate and crunch your way to win trips to El Clasico match in Spain and the coolest gadgets. Break free with Tiffany Break. Everything you see here, it's mine. Corruption, violence, gunplay. It's what moves America. If you steal from my men, you steal from me. If you want to be a gangster in my town, you'll pay me for the privilege. What do you want me to do? Kill them? Yes. We all have to decide how much sin we can live with. ترشح ل 134 جائزة حائز على 53 جائزة Boardwalk Empire الليلة منتصف الليل KSA على NBC Action What's going on? وانت فول سوداني زي الام ان امز دي ايوه إحنا زيهم بالظبط. اهربوا! ام ان امز شوكولاتة لا تقاوم. وما زلنا في الطليعة WWE من السبت إلى الثلاثاء التاسعة KSA على NBC Action I'm gonna try something. Keep your arm out like this. Okay. If you get tired, you can take the other hand and hold your wrist. Okay. Do okay. you need support? Can I have a phone? Yeah, it's my purse. Do you want me to get it? Yeah, you go for it. I go trust ahead? you. Yeah. <laughs> now check it out. I'm just gonna try to balance this on your hand, just like so. I'm just gonna try to balance it. But just relax. Keep your breathing normal. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> now watch. I need a, a phone. The whole time I'm sitting here like, how am I doing this? Because I kind of feel like I was doing it, but obviously it wasn't. It was all Chris. Okay. Check it out. What we're going to do, I'm going to try to oh balance it right here. And just balance that, just like so. When he put the second one on top, it was like, oh, wow. Is he really doing this? Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Oh man. No. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Oh, oh my goodness. Let's go. Let's go three. Three. Oh my goodness. You have one over there? You have one? You have one? Let me let me have it. Alright. Let me just turn the camera on. Okay. Turn the camera on. Turn the camera on. Okay. They were just balancing there. It was crazy. Oh. oh come on. No way. <laughs> Holy oh. I was as close as you could get, and there were no strings, there was nothing, just the phones in my hand and magic. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh, your phone is floating! <laughs>
Because this demonstration is so important to Chris, I've been looking at various locations around the country. Hello. Hey, Jack and Spira, how are you? Hi, Andrew. How's everything going with Times Square? Times Square is the ideal location for this demonstration. This is where Houdini performed his version of it, and this is where Chris also got his start. Thank you so much. I'm gonna get to work. And now, I got my location. The amount of pain around my neck is literally unbearable. I want to see my friend Randy Couture, an MMA Hall of Famer, to learn some techniques that I can employ to avoid losing consciousness. <laughs> no way I'm getting him down. <laughs> We're trying to do this thing where I'm going to be literally hanging upside down in a straight jacket. Uh -huh. And I want to take a noose and put 45 pounds of weight so that essentially I have to beat my own clock. And I basically have to get out before you I guess out. pass out. Yeah. yeah. How's that look, Randy? Yeah. <laughs> that, that looks good. Choking, guillotine chokes, and rear naked chokes are common in our sport. Right. Physiologically, you're cutting off the blood, the oxygen-rich blood supply to your brain with anything, any kind of pressure. And it doesn't take much pressure here. Right. And in seven seconds, you're, you're going to... Seven it. seconds, yeah. typically. There's two types yeah. of chokes. There's a blood choke, which right. is most common because the carotid arteries are easily exposed. Mm -hmm. the, the second is a wind choke, which, which, you, takes, can, which you can, which do you that, can right? protect yeah. your, yeah. your trachea and, and um, takes longer and is more painful. Right. This is... You'll go out and you're not even. I've been choked out and not realized it was really? until I woke up. Like, yeah, oh, so I can't tap happened. out. Yeah. <laughs> so what what kind of advice would you be able to give me? Like what I've been doing a lot of neck exercises, a lot of shoulder shrugs, traps. I don't know physiologically if there's anything you can actually train that are, are going to protect that carotid so that that blood flow keeps going to your brain. Yeah. I'm glad I'm not hanging ten stories. <laughs> In a chokehold, my basically my bicep is on this carotid. Right. And my forearm is on that carotid. Mm -hmm. If I lock it in, right. you can see it doesn't take a lot of pressure, and you start to yeah, feel. I, yeah, you. Yeah. Good. You want to put me out? I prefer you were sitting. All right, let me sit. Sit somewhere. Sit here. Right here. I'm gonna apply a pretty standard rear naked choke. My bicep is gonna be on one of your carotid arteries. My forearm is gonna be on the other. I'm gonna lace it, and now I just start to apply the choke. What that feels like is you going to sleep. Yeah, that's just, what it feels like. Closes. It's like, yeah, like tunnel. The tunnel closes. Yeah. Wow. Thank you very much for choking <laughs> me out. <laughs> what I've come away with is I need to keep the rope away from my carotid arteries and the front of my neck. All of that weight needs to be bared on the back of my neck. If I don't do that, I will be choked out. Coming up, there's something wrong with the permit, and we cannot continue. I need that license now, man. If I don't get it, I don't have a show. This is ridiculous. With Tiffany Break, win trips to El Clasico Match in Spain and other cool prizes. Président, l'acle taïb, Sarah Tiab. أرمش الويفر الهش والمقرمش المغطى بألز وأنعم شوكولاتة بالحليب ورباح واحدة من السفرات لمشاهدة مباراة الكلاسيكو بإسبانيا وجوائز كتيرة مع تيفاني بريك ما في حدود بريزينا الأكل الطيب صار أطيب جريمة الأسبوع نبدأها مع حمود أدوغن يهوى اللعب بالنينشاكو ويستخدمها في تنفيذ جرائمه المتقنة إذا سمعته يقول أدوغن أهرب لتشترك في سحب الأسبوعي على جواز قيمة فقط إلتقط الصورة وأرسلها على العنوان التالي action.net slash جريمة يبدأ البحث الليلة بين العشرة والحد عشر KSA على MBC Action 
bite into the crunchiest wafers in the smoothest milk chocolate and crunch your way to win trips to El Clasico match in Spain and the coolest gadgets. Break free with Tiffany Break. Président, l'acte le taille, Sarah Tiab. حان وقت المنافسة في أرب أيدل صوت الآن للمشترك المفضل لديك يا هلا هيثم خلايلي فلسطين وليد الجيلاني اليمن حازم شريف سوريا ماجد المدني السعودية محمد رشاد مصر عمار الكوفي كردستان العراق صوت الآن بإرسالك رقم المتسابق المفضل لديك على هذه الأرقام أو اتصل على الأرقام التالية ولمشاهدة أداء جميع المتسابقين زر موقعنا mbc.net slash Arab Idol Arab Idol الجمعة والسبت في هذه الأوقات على NBC1 و NBC مصر arrived at the Newark airport heading to Manhattan, my home state of New York. Very excited to be back. And, uh, what's up, man? How are you? How you doing? Nice to meet you. Thank you, Pat. New York is my home, and it's where everything started for me, pounding the doors, trying to get a break. And here we are. This is where it all started. This is my childhood right here. This is crazy. Danny, have you been here? You've been here. You've been here. You haven't been no, here. Never. Yeah, this is where it all started. When I when I rehearsed the Metamorphosis with Scott and Tarante, it was right in front of that garage. Right over here. I very rarely get the time to go back to New York. So to have the opportunity to see my family and my friends and have their support when I attempt something that's so monumental in the middle of Times Square is just the dream that. I had since I used to walk through Times Square. Hey, Mom. Who's that? Where are you? Where is she? I, I brought you some pizza. When Chris Angel walks through his childhood front door, he becomes Christopher. We were right there, Mom. We were coming off the park. How are you? Mm. I love you. Mm -hmm. He is right at home, and it's just such a loving family environment, and I think that is a lot of the reason for Chris's success is he has so much family support. How are you, and Stella? You look so good. Thank you so much. Say again, Ma, what would you like? And Stella, what would you like? Are you gonna eat the best pizza there is in the world? Two brothers. I told JD, I said, I bet you, but you're gonna go for pizza, two brothers. Mm -hmm. I do. Do I know you or don't I know you? You do. You know me better than, uh, than most. <laughs> this really reminds me of like the times when I was a kid and I was growing up and we would hang out with all the relatives at the house and you know I'd be doing magic and my Aunt Stella you know started me with magic when I was I was six. She actually showed the trick to me, Michael, her son Michael, and Perry, her other son. And I was the one who drove her crazy to know how it was done. And I said, and she, she was like, all right, I'll teach it to you. Just like, leave me be, OK? Do you remember the trick? Do, uh, uh, well, let's try it. Do you, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, OK. Wait, I don't know if we have, do you have a card? Do have a card? Mom, know. do you have cards in the house? Do you have my cards? Yeah, sure, okay. of course I have okay. them. Look at my mom. She has all of my products all over the house. My, my new deck of cards, I love these cards. They're awesome, the Baroque deck. And uh, I'm going to shuffle them real quick just to. You don't trust me, huh? I do <laughs> trust you. Okay. 
You remember how to do this? Yes, sir. I was six. This is a long time ago. Okay. Pick a card. Okay, I'm gonna go in the middle. I'm not taking the top one. Is that okay? I don't care. Pick okay. any card. All right, I'm gonna go Just for this look one. at it's it good. And concentrate on that. You got it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, put it in. Uh, on top of the deck. Okay. okay. And cut the deck. Okay, I'm gonna cut the deck. Okay. All right, there we go. Turn I'm happy. Cards all over for Turn, me. Okay. okay. And spread them out. Spread them out. Please. Okay. Uh, you're not even touching the deck. I'm just no, doing all the work you know here, why? apparently. Uh, why? This is your fun. Is that right? Oh my God! Is that right? That you nailed it. That was really the <laughs> <that was really, laughs> <that was really, laughs> You wow. absolutely so got it, swear to God. That is absolutely wow. amazing. Oh, my God, that's crazy. That was great. Wow. <laughs> you know, magic as a kid gives you the ability to do things that adults don't understand, so that's power. Can I teach it? Is that okay? All right, so check it out. It's based in a principle, a method called the key card, which is the key to knowing what card the spectator selected. Let me show you how it works. You just remember the bottom card. So in this case, Kristen will be the jack of hearts. You just get that locked into your head. You forget about everything else. Then you ask somebody to take a card. You can either spread them or you can put them down. Ask them to take a card out. All right. Now, you ask them to take the, the card and place it on top of the deck. They don't show you what the card is, but for the sake of knowing the demonstration yeah. right now, it's the six of hearts, which is the spectator's card. And, and the bottom card, which is the key, key card, is a jack of hearts. So you just ask them to cut the deck complete the cut. They can do this as much as so they the want. the key card, the jack of hearts now is on top of their card. Exactly. All that I have to do is look for the key card, which is the jack of hearts. And to the right of that, let me just spread them out if I could. If I look for the jack of hearts over here, you'll see, right over here is the jack of hearts. To the right of that card is the spectator's selected card. Yes, the six of hearts. Now you know what the card is, so you'd go like, hey, I want you to think of the card. It's a red card, it's a black card. It's a number card, picture card. And then you basically come to their card, which is the six of hearts. And it's an amazing effect, very yeah. simple to do. And no one's And thinking, uh, but... can build a career. Wow. I'm living proof. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, because it is a great trick. It's all how you Just build it up. Just don't ask for any royalties. <laughs> here was a space that I originally used. This space here was a couple of things. Originally, uh, I used to practice my bird act, do my magic. Here, this is my bedroom over here, which is now like tiny, 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 tiny. Sure, had magic posters, it had band posters, and it's kind of crazy because my closet is bigger than my bedroom. <laughs> now, yeah, your closet's bigger than my apartment. But... <laughs> but it's just crazy how it all starts, and this just started with a dream, and it just shows you that, you know, perseverance, stick to uh, can allow dreams to come true if you work for them, right? I think that Chris is very passionate about where he has come from and how far he's come. Check it out, Kristen. Come on down. Whoa, this, this is crazy. This was my laboratory. I've seen so many pictures. And this used to be a recording studio. My brother used to record music, <laughs> and I had my <laughs> drum set set up right over here. And uh, these were some frustrating times where I smashed uh, <laughs> the oh, wall. Oh. <laughs> I used to leave messages for my mom. You know, when I lost my dad, she was so amazing and always so supportive of me, my mom and my dad, so I always had a great relationship with my, with my family who really uh, has, have, have blessed my life in, in so many ways, you know? And, uh, and so this is, we left my dad's office um, exactly the way it was. Brings back a lot of memories. This is my dad over here when he was uh, modeling, uh, you know, for Muscle Magazine oh and all that stuff, but he was probably about 16, 15 there. He was uh, Golden Gloves. He had a scholarship to Penn State, but he didn't do it because he took care of his family. So oh, wow. he was quite a, an amazing person. Yeah, my father not seeing my success is... Um... It's uh, very, very sad to me. Although I know he sees it, but I just wish he could have seen it because he wanted it so bad for me and he believed in me when so many people didn't. Be safe, God bless you. I'll see you Wednesday, Wednesday right? Yes, yes. Right. that's great. Mom, Take you gonna come Wednesday? I love you. I love you too. Take care of yourself. Thank you for letting I'm us I'm telling you, in. I worry about you Wednesday, honey. I don't want you doing that thing. I'll be fine. Okay. No, that's what you always tell me, but meantime, you're gonna send me to the hospital. No, don't come then. I'll be fine. I promise yeah, you, I'll I'll be worry. Worry more here I'll be fine. 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 Coming up. We're already.